Hey guys, this is Golden IDS, and this is a little funny story that I thought I'd got for you. I'll probably do a few more of these if they happen to me. Usually they're kind of self-mockery, self-humour, um, like this one. And this is going to be called, from now on, the cucumber story. So it starts off the night before the incident, and I'm deciding that the best thing to do while watching Star Trek Deep Space Nine and being quite hungry is to make myself a cucumber and chicken sandwich with some salad cream on, eat it. After that's done, Star Trek's done about 6 o'clock in the morning, I go to bed and sleep. And I'm in bed, and I suddenly wake up and I'm like, what's going on? I look straight at the door, and there's people there. And I'm like, what's, what's, what's going on here? What, why the hell are there people there? So thinking it's a dream, I go straight back to sleep and think, you know what, hmm, sleep. And then I hear, what seemed like an hour, was probably minutes, I hear this knock on the door. And there's a voice saying, can we come in? Now, I sleep naked, so I'm like, just give me a sec. Completely asleep, dart out of bed, grab my dressing gown, put my dressing gown on, hastily, and open the door. At this point, I'm not sure what my dressing gown is showing and what it isn't showing, and in fact, it could have been showing... You can see where this is going. So I open the dress I open the door, the dressing gown open, I'm kind of stood there in my dressing gown, which comes up to about um, just a, about halfway between the, the bottom and the, the knee. It's not particularly covering dressing gown. And I'm just stood there and open the door. And these people all just very cautiously look around the room, it's not a big room, and go, let's put the head in, just, just enough, and then back off. And each one does this in turn, just looking at the room, and that's it. They, they, they've left. So I think, oh, it's, this was a, a this was a house viewing today. What the hell? Why why did they not tell us? Ah, uh, they turned out they did tell us. But I was like, oh, what the hell? Oh, I slept through that. It's going horribly. So I got back into bed and thought, I'll go back to sleep. Who cares? And as I get back into sleep, and as I get back into bed, I start going like, I start smelling something that's disgusting. Foul. In fact, it's so bad that I can't get back to sleep because I keep smelling it. It's like, oh, that's the, oh my god, it, it's just everywhere. It's all pervasive. It's disgusting. It is the smell of death. Absolute death. And then it hits me <laughs> that I'd been sleeping the entire night and farting all night, making the room smell disgusting, and I just opened the door, partially naked, to three or four guests who were looking around the house to view it, and then it absolutely stunk. <laughs> and I'd greet them, maybe, naked. <laughs> and that was it. And it was possibly, when I, when I realised what happened, after I'd woken up a sufficient amount and opened the windows and started to smell free, fresh air again, and oh my god, that was so embarrassing. So yeah, that's the, that's the story. Um, it's terrible. I've never been in a situation, I, I said, they, they pretty much barged into a room, which I wasn't, wasn't best pleased about. And, you know, especially since I was asleep. But yeah, didn't last long because they left pretty quickly because of the smell. And yeah, that's, 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 that's the cucumber story. It wasn't as probably as dirty as you thought it would be, but my god, never again. So this is the cucumber story, a story about horrible smells, possible nakedness, and invaders of the bedroom. If you like this story, then I'll make more of them if I have stories like this. And also thanks to Mark and Jack and our statue friend um, for help dramatising some of these sequences. Anyway, guys, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't eat cucumber, by the way. I go. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Sweating like a fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, it's all your fault, you fucking <laughs> slut. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's like I'm turning around and like, you're like, oh, but I, I, might, I won't make any noises next time. <laughs> no, no, you, you should. Cool. Oh. Do you always carry a gun to bed with you, James? Kiss me now. Fucking <laughs> 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 Okay.